Welcome to Leaders U, developing the next generation of leaders. I'm Dieta Jones. Today, I wanna to talk about a topic that a lot of people have been asking me about. So this will probably be the shortest, most concise, most direct video blog yet. It's on the topic of trust. People ask me all the time, how do I build or rebuild trust in an organization where it's either lacking or it's been broken? I have a simple answer. It's almost too simple. Uh, it's the last time that I'm gonna give you bullet points that are quite this uh, prescriptive, but I hope you're gonna take note of this. First thing, if trust has been broken and it's you that's broken it, or you have the ability to make amends, here's exactly what you do. Apologize. Own the behavior that you did that crossed the line. Own the behavior, say what it is that you did that was problematic, one. Two, describe what it is that you will do differently in the future, explicitly. Three, do it. Do what you say you're going to do. I'm sorry, this is what I did. This is what I'll do differently next time and in the future and do it. It's that simple. Trust is something that is oftentimes much more freely given the first time than the second time. So if you're in a situation where trust is lacking or it's been broken, the process of rebuilding trust is going to take you longer than if you were trying to earn trust at the beginning of a relationship. So know that your consistent pursuit of the things that you said you will be doing differently in the future are going to be really important. That people or the person with whom you have a broken trust is going to be paying attention to your behavior and looking for consistency of action. Also know that it's going to take time and it's going to take you connecting the dots. So you might circle back around with the person and let them know that the behavior that you are demonstrating now is in the spirit of uh, keeping your promise about doing things differently in the future. Here's one last thing, one last nugget. If you are the person in this situation that has more power, if you are a supervisor or a manager, if you have a leadership role, it is always, always, always incumbent upon you to initiate the apology and the trust building process. Yes, I know it doesn't always happen like that. Yes, I know some of you watching this video are in situations where your manager or your leader has broken trust and has not followed this formula. I understand that. But you have the ability to impact the kind of credible leadership relationship that you wanna have with other people with whom you work. And so think about where you can impact trust the behaviors that you can exhibit and then model the way. Initiate, solve it, it won't solve itself. Start working toward a more trusting relationship and organizational climate, which will then open you up to building um, a much more healthy and sound organizational culture. I hope this is helpful. Go out there, start building and rebuilding trust, and until next time.